when should I activate the approach in my flight plan? Now, I think this term, activating the approach, and the menu item that goes with it is one of the most confusing items in the IFR world. And just to get to the answer really quick, I would say you should never activate the approach using the activate the approach menu item or button in your RNAV system. And the reason for that is it doesn't actually do what you think it does. When you select activate approach, it's going to change your navigation and it does not give you the opportunity to see what's gonna happen. And this can get you into massive trouble when you're operating in the cross country world. So for a great real world example, let's take a flight from Baton Rouge to Lafayette, Louisiana. So now we're cleared for the approach. We're established on the localizer, approaching laughs. We can see that the glide slope starting to come down, but what would happen if we clicked activate approach? So we hit procedure, select activate approach, and immediately, without confirmation, the aircraft starts turning. Now, if we're hand flying, you could be following that localizer and now your RNAV guidance is turning off to the side. If your autopilot is coupled, it's just going to start turning away from that localizer course. And where is it going? It's going to the first fix that was loaded as a part of this approach. And that, in this case, is the Betty initial approach fix. It can either be an IAF, or if you loaded a feeder route, it may turn and take you direct to the feeder fix. But the point is, when you select activate an approach, it takes you to the first fix on that procedure without ever giving you the opportunity to confirm it. 